I haven't watched this video at all, but I did see on Chick's page. Um, Tasha, Kevin Hart put a restraining order on Tasha K, so we can just click this and watch this all together. Restraining Tasha order. K got this. What is happening? That Kevin yeah. Hart had to put a fucking restraining order up. Where does he live? Probably, you know what? I don't know. Probably Florida. Like, how are they so... Why from are they Atlanta in or Florida? Proximity? I feel like she is from Florida. I can't remember. Does a restraining order count for, uh, like, YouTube videos, too? That I don't know. They might have something a like that. A digital restraining order? Like, you can't follow me on Instagram? Or you can't talk to, you can't talk about me or something it like might, that. It's 2024, so okay. all digital they gotta platforms have, some sort have of digital, to be integrated. There's got to be some sort of digital law. Within the contract. Yeah, yeah. It's like a gag for Especially your name. Especially because I have an open case on you right now. So, yeah. So maybe during the time period. Maybe it's like a restraining order until we... Close our case. Yeah. No content on this person. Or even as simple as your lawyer advising you to shut the fuck up. So but you what don't. If, I hope in this video we re we learn that she's like pulling up on the nigga and harassing him with emails. That's what I hope. But that's because you love oh this fuck. I hope it's more real harassment than <laughs> online. Where her Stedman. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's hilarious, nigga. Do with it, man. Hey, man, we got to figure out exactly what Tasha K knows that we don't know. There's no way that somebody who's facing multiple lawsuits, somebody who already has to pay back millions to Cardi B, is still moving this reckless. Yeah, now, last shameless. month, Kevin Hart filed a lawsuit against Tasha K. He claims Tasha K was trying to extort him for 250K. Now, this all had to do with the interview that Tasha K did with Kevin Hart's ex assistant. Now, in this interview, the assistant was pretty much exposed. Kevin Hart, claiming that he's still cheating on his wife. He's got a gambling addiction. Not only that, but apparently he paid somebody off after getting a DUI. Now, of course, these things are all alleged. These are all things that can possibly ruin his public image. Now, interesting enough, the same day Kevin Hart filed the lawsuit, Tasha K went ahead and put the whole interview behind a paywall. But as of yesterday, Kevin Hart asked the court to grant him a restraining order that would force Tasha K to take down the video of their interview that she did with the assistant, which he alleged mm, was full of defamatory that. claims. Now, this is a statement Kevin Hart wrote to the judge. He said, working in the entertainment industry, my livelihood depends in large part on my reputation and the public's perception of me. That perception is of particular concern in light of the fact that I am involved in a number of family-oriented projects, such as the say. Jumanji franchise, mm -hmm. fatherhood, Captain Underpants, The Secret Life of Pets, and others. I also endorse various national brands, and those endorsement deals depend in part on the public perception of my reputation, respectability, and character. Now, Kevin Hart goes on to say, after my refusal to pay, the interview was published. After its publication, I watched the interview and saw that in addition to discussing private matters in breach of the NDA, Shakes, which is the assistant, made statements about me that were simply false, including the that I supposedly made a secret video recording of a sexual encounter and faced criminal charges regarding that supposed incident. I did not record any such video and I have never faced criminal charges in connection with that alleged incident or any related matters. Now, whether or not what the assistant said about Kevin was true or not, Kevin does not want to lose any of the deals he has in place. The guy works with over 50 different brands. And to be honest with you guys, if they haven't dropped him by now after some of these clips came out, they're probably probably yeah, never man. gonna drop him. I'll but the more attention mm -hmm. you give to Tasha K, the say. more light you're gonna bring to the interview and make people really make it go viral. As of right now, That's the interview point. is still up on Tasha K's website. Doesn't look like she cares much about any legal action that Kevin Hart is taking. But personally, if I still owe somebody close to $4 million, I'm definitely gonna be treading lightly. You guys got in the comments below, tell me what you guys think about yeah. this, man. Does Tasha K have a personal gripe against Kevin Hart? Or is this just part for the course for Tasha K? Push comments below. Scratch my channel like this video. Is she I was just a thinking, thank you, Chicks. God damn. Uh, shout out to Chick. I feel like we haven't mentioned this nigga in a minute. But yeah. what overall, is I, was, yeah. I was literally just about to say that, like, he's still a comedian. And within certain fields, you can move a little, like, you have a little bit more range. Mm -hmm. Like, a comedian being a gambling addict. It's like a fish drinking water, nigga. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think the... Or maybe cheating on your bitch. Like, nigga, you on the road. Like, what's... Yeah. He's yeah, not, none running, that, he's none not running for political were, office. None of the and, allegations were that wild. Yeah. But, like, yeah. but that's how much... But he's fighting for that much of a clean image. Everything though. his ex-assistant, allegedly, in my opinion, yeah. I think is probably true. Yeah. But once you get to this level, you kind of... Maybe he might be... I'm, 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 I don't want to put this out there, but he might be an egomaniac. You know what I'm saying? Little so, Napoleon complex. So it's like, what the fuck? Like, this bitch is just saying shit about me. You know what I mean? That might not even ever get talked about. Like, who the fuck cares? Like, gambling yeah. addict. Like, 
I mean, but Disney cares. That's his whole thing. Yeah, true. Like, this is going to ruin my livelihood and ability yes. to make money. Yes, because which is how, obviously his bottom line. And because, I, okay. you know, it's clean cut. This nigga owned Jumanji, bro. Like, yeah. Kevin Hart can't say nigga no that's, more. That's a family man for real. For like, real. it's over. He yeah. turned in but, his inward pass. He gave it to Gary Owens. But it's one of those. I feel like Kevin Hart, that's what makes him special is that, like, he can do that. You know what I'm saying? He could if he leaned into it, that. I'm a comedian the most, not, but he doesn't do that. Like he doesn't do that. I get what you're saying. Like as a comedian, he would have those extra, just like how and, Fifty Cent, like, and 50, I don't even want to say comedian, said, but yeah. just Kevin. Like I feel yeah. like him, like he has that special power to where, like, I don't think he, he does. Could, he could he still be the special a power. The special he, power to do what specifically? He could to still like be things. a little degenerate. And you know, still have some Disney, still have some fabletics. Isn't but the that thing his, is, uh, I think he doesn't want to further build his case because he already exactly. has a few stripes against him in terms of Hollywood, yeah. like the whole tweet about the dollhouse with his kid. I think he like doesn't want to add to that resume of nigga. You might be a fucked up person. It's kind of like the same thing Charlamagne's doing. It's like uh, where you don't want to add to anything now. You don't want to build on anything from the past. You won't put no fuel. But as a, but but like no, you were right in saying Charlamagne as a comedian, a you have a the right to do more things. Like Fifty Cent used to always say that. Fifty Cent would say, "I get away with more, even though I'm a successful ass businessman, because I'm a rapper." Mm -hmm. And I remind people all the time that I'm a rapper. Yeah. So when I say something like, "Yo, tell that person, shut the fuck up," you know yeah. what I'm saying? That was the rapper speaking. Curtis Jackson still signed a deal with stars for a hundred something exactly. million. You know what I'm saying? Same like, with Snoop Dogg. He can smoke as Snoop many blunts like, as he won on the but set of scene. they CNN. exercise their star power and their previous and, field. And the mm. alter ego. You got to exercise the right. alter they ego. They exercise that. But Kevin and them, they don't exercise that shit at all. He, it's almost like I'm Kevin closing. Doesn't. Kevin doesn't at all. I'm closing this door, period. And I'm only going to open it when I feel like it, and that's going on tour. Whenever, I, and as it's a comedian, at, on some like egomaniac shit, like when I want it, yeah, like, pretty much, yeah. You know, it, I think all these it, niggas is that better than being whored out though? Yeah, and not doing things on your own. Thank accord? you. I do want to say this: it's uh, he's not wrong for trying to shut this bitch up and the bitch being Tasha K. Especially when you got like, that Especially if it's true. Especially because it's like you fucking up the money, uh, yeah. and then all it takes is the video getting like. 500,000 views and so, then so. it's like it's up but yeah honestly yeah. Even because he hasn't been fired from anything that was a good point Chiz brought up it's like I was literally, literally because you might be a little over paranoid just given right. what you but, know is possible but yeah. that's when you know preventative it, it might be it might be a whole different level of conversation like what the fuck is Tasha K's in game that's what I was just about to bring up because it's like like nigga the truth I, I, it can't be the truth. Yes, I don't think be. she believes wholeheartedly in, in, in majority of this shit. I think it's almost on like it's the story and like, the truth. I'm not saying she does drugs, but it's kind of like crackhead decision making to where it's like, Bruh, I don't real. care if this is real or true. This yeah. is happening right now. Yeah, let bro. me live in a moment. Yeah, dog. And then and it's if you this bitch, could be lying and breaking NDAs. And on top of that, just like her alone, her, her alone, bro, she has priors. Like, She's a nigga that's convicted of robberies already. You know what I'm saying? And she's just out here committing robberies, it seems like, still openly. With no mask. With no mask. Not yeah. giving a fuck. And it's just like, don't you know you lost defamation already? Why do you, why do you keep playing with these niggas? <laughs> Trying to rob <laughs> niggas' reputation. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like, yeah. like every time. If, if he goes, when they go to court, the niggas are just going to pull up what she did to Cardi B and be like, yeah, you precedence. haven't learned nothing. Yeah. And then if somebody else sues after Kevin Hart, they're going to pull up. And if Kevin Hart wins, they're going to pull up Cardi B and Kevin Hart and be like, ma'am, do you just not care? This Like, what's going and, on, man? And she just don't like spending her own money. Yeah. She want to owe somebody for the rest of her life. That's what it seemed like. And I don't, uh, I need to read more about this, the specifics of the case, yeah. but it's really the assistant who's really getting like, the she's big hand, a, like the real backhand. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For Tasha, sure. I feel like she she's liable she could, to a degree. She's liable to a but degree. But a lot of the burn is coming. A lot of the burn is going to She that. broke, assistant, she broke sure. a non-disclosure agreement. And that's for something, sure. I mean, unless the assistant told Tasha beforehand, yeah. she could definitely get punished a little bit more. But all in all, it's like, hey, bitch, you said it. Like, You're right. Yeah, you there, there's, there's definitely a lot of that in but there. But due yeah. to her priors... It's like, it's like how can flirt? the judge not look at that shit? It's like when you're a convicted felon, you still want to hang out with felons, mm -hmm. even though you're not allowed to because you're on probation, but you still like to chill with felons and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of just crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like some of the smoke people be having for Vlad could really go to Tasha K because it's like, 
I mean, who's really being disingenuous? But she's not as big as Vlad either, though. Yeah, she's not as big. So but it's, like, and she's black. But she might be equally, I, I want to say equally as damaging, because, you know, that's debatable in Vlad's case. But Because of his platform. Is because of his bigger, platform. Sure. But it's still damaging nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, true. And Vlad, it's weird. Vlad is able to do, Vlad is able to do everything Tasha's doing, just not get sued for it. Right, right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, calculated. Well, he does it to where he can't get sued. Yeah, like yeah, literally, that's what I'm saying. It's he, calculated. There's a strategy in the playbook to this. Yeah, he makes sure he puts himself in a better position than the average. You get what I mean? To where oh, yeah, if he I, does get sued, it's like, all right, I'll pay it. You but know? yeah, I literally, I cannot understand, and I don't understand what her end game is at this point. Mm. And y'all know how I am. Fuck it, let's crash out. Yeah, I, I feel like if you with this mentality, she probably like what are her hobbies. Like she probably into wall climbing with no harness and shit. Like I wonder what her she's just, she's she's too used to she, risk. She definitely likes extremes. She's too used to risking yeah, it all. Yeah. I wonder what her telegram looked like. Her telegram like group community or something. Nigga, like it's that. probably so much. It's probably nigga. a lot of white people. It's, it's, it's probably, probably more white people than you would imagine. It's probably just just smut and filth. Nigga, we don't know. Oh my god, yeah, that shit could. Disgusting and probably in there. Yeah. Well, shout out to Kasha K. I mean, if you get sued by like another person this year. Then I'm just gonna assume. How much y'all want to bet? I think it's high. You think it's two more people or just one? I think at least one. Two uh, is a lot. I think she's like the Joker. Okay, look. If two people do it, then I'm gonna also think conspiracy that everybody important in the industry got together and they're like, let's just get her out the paint forever. And, and like, might, let's all just like sue her. And that might is, be her redemption story because in that process, I feel like she's. It's something about her when I look at her face. It feels like she's got some air of like luck to where she's got something this shit up her might all though. work out in the end. Yeah, and it's not on purpose, yeah. but it's some type of controlled chaos. Maybe she's doing this long play of fighting for the First Amendment. Who knows? Bro, Ooh, it, like it, she might be able to sue somebody for defamation and win all her money back. Like just and, a, and then a miraculous be, movie and, climax. And, and plus some. Yeah. Or it's just like when you're a journalist, like the the back end. Yeah. Like she's focused on the back end truth. Like yeah. in 20 years, y'all gonna find out I wasn't lying. I got sued for no reason. Maybe I don't even yeah. want the money, but it's just something to post on Instagram. The long, the long like, how, truth, like yeah. y'all see this shit. Tasha right. K gonna go on Club Shay Shay in about four years and do 62 million. Now that'd be interesting if she goes on Club Shay Shay. That would be insane. That would be insane as fuck. Shannon would have to get sued just by having her on. Like he, Shannon, he, Shannon would he need a even, heart monitor for he all the stress that he's gonna. He be wouldn't even do it to himself. It would just be so chopped up and edited. I think. Yeah. yeah. I think he would just like the editors would go through and take all the alleged shit out and just let's not even play with it and just like it. Hey, and Tasha, she'd probably Tasha's go viral smart. just complaining because this, he chopped it so much. This is another a lawyer thing. sitting right beside him drinking sure. alcohol. And this a is lawyer another, sitting next to the editor. Tasha's smart as shit. Like, she's a past criminal. Smart she's as done, shit. Yeah, she's smart. Smart as shit. She's smart. Smart as shit is... She might be know. cunning, but smart as shit. Yeah, she's I don't know smart. Anybody, yeah, that's, that's, anybody that ends up in this predicament, yeah, nah, you can't say that they're... It's, a, it's plenty of people that are in bad situations that aren't dumb. You get what I'm saying? Stephen and it, It's one of those things to where her career, it calls for that. Like, it calls for that, like, I'm standing on it. I don't give a fuck what I look like. I don't know. There's it, plenty of people in the same game as her that don't have the same uh, circumstance. Who? Yeah. Uh, pretty much everybody else. I'm Everybody's glad like, you named them. Like, literally everybody Every, else. Nobody Who else, else is getting sued yeah, like nobody, Tasha no, K? Literally nobody's getting defamation. Who else? This is not happening. And, and this is another question. It's, it's kind of facetious, but, like, who else is looking for the story like Tasha? Now, nah, it's facetious, Vlad but is. there's plenty of people looking for the story. Vlad. Vlad, Vlad, is, Vlad is looking for the yeah. Vlad be looking for them goddamn TMZ. stories. TMZ. Vlad is looking for the story. Yeah. This is a couple platforms, nigga, and they don't have any of the litigation or uh, the, the legal problems that she's facing. None. Vlad is really the only real one, though, if we being honest. Nigga, but Vlad is helping I, the justice system. Right. I do pray for Tasha K. I, I don't. I pray for her husband. Right. He's probably going to pray, fight I pray, a lot of people. I pray, yeah. I pray he fixes himself so that he can fix her. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on, yeah. Because it starts from the top. So you blaming him for all these lawsuits suddenly? I mean. You know what's crazy is her lawsuit would go away if she just, like, took the video down. But she won't even take the video down. Which is, which which begs the question. It's the same thing that happened with Cardi B. It started with videos going up that she refused to take down. And then when she did take them down, she put them back up. And so it's like. Because she couldn't help herself. It's almost yeah, like, it's yeah. like she can't help herself. It's like an addiction. Because yeah. it's the truth. Yeah. You get so. what I'm saying? It's the truth. To her. We don't know it. Obviously, it wasn't the truth. Yeah, exactly. Because she it, lost the goddamn it's suit. It's the truth to her. Even if it's yeah. not the truth, it's her art. 
You get what I mean? Like she I, might have a she might have I a think certain kind of soul. Her and the Cardi thing was all ego, but her ego well, yeah. lost her four million. And imagine, like, let's say all these things are true, all the things she ever talked about. Imagine knowing that. And like the idea of you like knowing that this could get me sued, like this could make me lose my house. Yeah. But it's like it's some real shit. Fuck it. It's it's a double edged sword. Shout out to Tasha K. She is always in the news for the wrong reason. Yeah, it's a rated. She sword. literally is always in the news for the wrong reason. She made hey, black women look. It's oof. her fault. Sheesh. Don't 